Hi everyone, it's James here. And Paul. From the studio. Rats. We've practiced that, as you can tell. Oh yes. So we thought we'd do something <laughs> a bit different, a bit of a tutorial type thing. All right. Um, on recording. Acoustics. Acoustic guitar. And we have, quite frankly. Oh my God, this thing is. The greatest microphone I've ever used on acoustic guitar. In fact, probably the greatest microphone I've ever used full stop. This is the Myberg M1. Mm -hmm. Thanks to Drew for lending us this thing of it's beauty. amazing it's a valve condenser mic uh based around an m7 capsule a mylar m7 capsule so i'm informed um and it's beautiful i've used it on vocals but it really really shines for this sort of thing Now, what's interesting is you're using your amazing penny pick again. Yeah. And you're getting all that rasp and all the detail and... Clarity. If I play my fingers, you get like this. With the pick. So, we thought we'd talk about our varying styles for recording acoustic guitar, mm. because... Well, you're going to show your way. I'm going to show you the right way. And then I'm going to show you the way it should be done. <laughs> <laughs> okay, talk us through your theories. Right. For me, if you're using one microphone on acoustic guitar, 12th fret. So this is slightly towards the sound hole for me. But if you record over the 12th fret, you're getting the equal balance between the resonance from the body of the guitar and the string, the, the, the clarity from the string noise. So for me, the... The 12th fret is there, so the microphone should be about there. And it makes a massive difference. If you shift it like an inch either way, it's a massive difference, isn't it? It's worth at this point saying that the M1, yeah. not this is an ad for the M1, is a multi-pattern. In fact, it's all patterns because it's variable yeah. between full omni and figure eight. Yeah. Um, it's dual diaphragm, which yeah. allows it to do that amazing trick. But at the moment, it also has a button on it which means we can switch the rear diaphragm off. So it's purely a cardioid mic. So the sort of thing, quite frankly, if you've got a two, 300 pound condenser that's probably fixed cardioid, all the stuff that we're talking about will work. Absolutely. The fact that we're <clears> using <throat> a beautiful microphone, yeah. and I can't stress that enough, this is it's just it's, yeah, it's staggeringly beautifully it's sounding. Amazing, yeah. um, but all this, these principles and theories will work using a, a standard Absolutely. condenser, cardioid condenser. Would you want to do your, should we do your way first? Well, no, we'll do your way first because we're halfway through. So okay. um, I'm interested in, in knowing though, what sort of, would you record any type of track this way? If you were doing a kind of a rhythm pass, like a yep. and and you'd always use this technique. I always use this technique. I never use two microphones on, on acoustic guitar. But even if you're playing a nice delicate part like you are now, you'd still point at the 12th fret. Yeah. From about how far? What do you reckon you are? Seven, I reckon eight I reckon I'd be I reckon I'd be a little bit closer. So if I move this chair a little bit closer, I reckon I'd be there. So I'm going to play with my fingers. It's beautiful, but I still think you're wrong. <laughs> Go on then. Right, so <clears throat> dives down, gets dirty. Now, at this point, caveat time, I will agree that I would do that for a kind of a rhythm part where right. you want the jingly janglies. Yeah, yeah. Where I want more, like a, like a, a solo lead line or something a bit more sensitive, yep. fingers, yep. I'm gonna come a little bit different. I'm gonna come away a little bit more. I'm gonna go up a little bit. And I'm going to come down, not directly over the sound hole, but probably about another two or three inches further towards the body of the guitar. Interesting. Which I think is going to give me a bit more sort of body resonance. Are we going to do this completely so there's going to be no EQ on this? No EQ. So everyone can hear exactly how it sounds. Because Absolutely. it does sound very different. It does. It and hopefully you'll hear exactly how different. So obviously I haven't got headphones, so I'm, I'm kind of guessing a little bit. Hold on a second. Did you learn this? Is this like an Al Schmidt technique or something? No. Oh, okay, no, good. This is absolutely 
a James Ivy. I've tried this. I love it. It works. All right. For me. Okay. So I'm going to maybe come a little bit higher. Right. And a little bit over the top, a little bit more. So you're kind of pointing, if 12th fret is here, sound hole is here, we're kind of down and over. For you, you're like 17th fret. Yeah. Try you're that. Like over there. Okay. Try that. So exactly the same sort of thing. Let's do with my fingers first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Try it with that metal pick. For me, it's it's a, a fuller fuller sound. It's not right. bad. It's not. I'm joking, of course. Your way isn't wrong. It's just different. Yeah, your way's wrong. Yeah. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> For me, that gives a bit, of a bit of a rounder tone. It gives you more to work with because for acoustic guitar, especially for me, I would rather cut frequencies and boost them. If Without I doubt. If I want to give, I want to start with a fatter, rounder sound, and if I want to get rid of the bottom end, I can curtail it better with a filter. Right. Whereas if I want to add that bottom end in, mm -hmm. you're then, you're adding what's not there in the sure, first place. Sure, sure, sure. So, or you're enhancing what's, what, yeah, you're yeah. enhancing stuff. So, yeah. We'll listen to it. We'll continue to argue about this. I don't think so we're blue in the face. Well, I'll tell you what we should do. Should we do a strumming style and we can see how different they sound as well? The sort of thing that you'd find in any country track. That sort of thing. Yee-haw. Yee-haw. Okay. Should, well, should, should you now do it the proper way? You and your proper way. There is no right and wrong. That's just my way. <laughs> so you you reckon about? I reckon much lower than that. Yeah, I'm going to bring it. So I want the capsule. Yep. Facing right where the twelve capsule fret is. Capsule facing twelve fret. So again, we're not going to be using any EQ on this. This is going to be as as this is. So you know, James is not going to filter out any of his bottom end. That there. And makes and this is the thing about great microphones is it makes such a massive difference. Like how far. You know, just tiny movements make such a massive difference. Okay, so we're not listening to it; we're just guessing. Mm. So we're not monitoring anything, which is we? completely and utterly wrong. What we should be doing is listening to everything. But hey, it's a video; it's YouTube; it's way more fun to just guess. Sorry to interrupt the video, I just wanted to say, if you guys are getting anything out of this video and you'd like to see more videos from the Studio Rats, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you click on that notification bell, you'll be notified as soon as a new video comes out. Right, let's get back to it. So we've labeled these in the playback, in the video, as Paul's method and the correct method. Or James's method and the correct Paul method. We'll call it J method, Paul P method. Nice. Um, let us know in the comments which one you prefer. Yeah, we'll do one more test, and that's like using some percussion by slapping the guitar with playing it. A bit like that more than words sort of sort of sound. Oh, the, yeah, the yeah. kind of Newton um, Faulkner kind of style. So that's the right way. It's my way. <laughs> You and your right and wrong. <laughs> there is no right and wrong. There's no. just the correct I'm way. I'm just and, being and your way. facetious. Is that the right word? <laughs> it probably is. So. Okay, you were Drew, higher than that before. I know it is. I know. And Drew, if you're watching, I am going to clean the mic afterwards. Don't <clears> worry. Same part. Now, obviously, at this point, we haven't heard it either. So the jury's out, quite frankly. Yeah. But the truth of the matter is, it's what sounds right yeah. for the track. Absolutely. Um, there is no right and wrong. There's just what... The, yeah, it's very true. But so, and I think uh, the way that a lot of people record is they're recording, like for myself, I'm recording in a room by myself. There's no one else to make that choice. 
unless I go into another studio. Mm -hmm. But there's no one else to make that choice. So you need to make these choices while you're recording. And normally, because you haven't got the separation of someone making that choice for you, you put headphones on mm -hmm. and then you're making that choice over headphones, which, you know, most of the time is not the right way of doing it. No. The only thing I would say that is a no-no, and I know you'd agree with this, is pointing the microphone directly at the sound hole. Let's demonstrate that. Let's demonstrate it that. it sounds horrible. It's, it's the worst thing. It's because woolly and nasty and just, just It's just based, it's just nasty. This is now pointing directly at the sound hole. And my theory is it's gonna sound woolly and muddy and there'll be very little definition. Yeah, loads of bass, loads of bottom end. Strum? Yep. It will probably sound great on that mic. That's the scary, <laughs> that's the scary thing. You're probably right. Probably um, right. So it's a judgment call. It's your own call, really. Uh, so let us know in the comments which one you think is mm -hmm. correct, accurate, which one you preferred. I mean, it does come down to preference. Absolutely. I know we're sitting well and truly on the fence here. There's bound to be comments saying, I wouldn't do it like that, I'd do it like this. Of course there are. And the, the truth of the matter is there are no hard and fast rules. No. But if you were to turn up at a professional studio and they pointed the mic directly in the sound hole, I think I'd be saying, can we maybe point it somewhere else? Absolutely. So I hope you enjoyed that. My name's James Ivey. I'm Paul Drew. From the Studio Rats.